everyone, so I'm making a video about slings and shields. The only uh, information about using slings with shields that I could find was the Lindy Beige video, which I'll link to in the description. But uh, from the way he was talking, you could tell he hadn't really tried it himself. Uh, like when he tried demonstrating how to do it, he was sort of talking to his theory and then was like, oh no, 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 I should do this first. Stuff. So you could tell he never actually slung with the shield, so I decided to go out and do that. Or I just brought the small Clonura shield mock-up with me to do some slinging. I didn't want to bring my large round shield, which I've shown in a few videos, because that I would definitely just be, you know, like, slamming my hand against, and that wouldn't be fun. But I could probably do it with my oval shield, which you've seen in a few videos, so once I'm back on campus and can do that, I'll probably try that out a bit and do a video with that, just to sort of say yes or no. But, uh, anyways, slings with shield. It's definitely possible. You sort of hold your cup in your shield hand, like so. Then you could, you know, grab something from your pouch and put it in, or even go to the ground and pick up a, a nice random stone. So it, it wasn't a problem, but what I did notice was slinging was a lot less accurate. So if I put my shield down, because uh, at least when I'm slinging, I, I do like a full body motion. I don't do a perfect up like that. I get more powerful doing sideways, sort of like if you imagine throwing a javelin or a baseball or whatever. So I throw sideways, or not exactly sideways, like, like at a diagonal again and release at the top. So once it's released, its momentum is going that way, so the sling goes to my right, but because it's a full body motion, as I'm doing that, I'm spinning my body to the left. So what ends up happening is, this, is the stone goes relatively straight, but with the shield, because the shield protects me really only if I hold it like this. So I don't have as much movement. Rather than doing a full body like that to sling, I'm going like that. So while it didn't uh, slow me down or make me lose power, and I definitely gained protection, every time, because I'm swinging more like that, I'm, I'm not going straight, I would always, like almost every single time, have my stone go off to the right a little bit uh, at a diagonal. That's the only drawback I could really see. But I feel like if I kept practicing with Sling and Shield, which I probably won't, but if I kept practicing, I could eventually get it down to a more straight path. So, yes, it's, it's definitely possible. And depending on your style, uh, it might make you less accurate, though. Because since I swing at that diagonal and then move my body, I found it less accurate. If you do go exactly straight, uh, I suspect it won't be much of a problem. But if you go sideways, it might be a problem if you're actually holding it out. But uh, if you sort of bring it into your body as you swing like that, uh, it's not that big of a problem. It, it does once you get all the way over here, but I suspect you would release it like that, uh, by that. So, it does mess up your accuracy, or at least it messed up my accuracy a little bit. And I feel like a lot of people would actually have their accuracy messed up. So it was less accurate, but it wasn't so much uh, the, having the shield's fault, but how I reacted to having the shield. So if you get uh, off the mentality and move your shield out of the way, uh, I was still perfectly straight. Or again, if you just practice enough to do an exactly straight motion, I suspect you could get it nice and straight that way. So yes, slings and shield, definitely possible. We have art of ancient and medieval slingers. Actually, I'm not sure if, the, if we have medieval. I know we have ancient, ancient slingers with shields. So it's definitely authentic, and it's a good system. 